We're gonna do new composition from footage because that's dope. I'm not even gonna use an edit audio, but just in case you're using an audio, you know, we're doing an in-depth MoGraph edit here. If you need to cut your clip, press Shift Control D, and then we're gonna trim this, and then we're gonna do trim up to work area. After this, what you're gonna do is import your clip, scale these up using S on your keyboard, and then you can mess around with position. Now that we have our clips, what we're gonna do is pre-compose them. Now press Shift Command C, and then you're gonna press move all attributes into new composition press ok and then after this you're just gonna do the same for all the other clips after you pre-compose this what you're gonna do is add twixter if you want and we're gonna just change the speed to about 30 and then i'm just gonna copy this one and paste it on the other ones and then pre-compose it once you're done okay after this we're gonna start on the actual MoGraph tutorial first we're going to do this like circular transition thing i don't really know what to call this but it's cool add a new solid and we're gonna put this under here now if we really want a good color we're gonna move it to something more like wait this red is not that bad this one's decent but i want a lighter red so we're gonna do mask this video right here so we're gonna do rectangle tool but rounded edges now don't do full screen because you'll see in a second we're gonna do something like this and then we're gonna go under mask and we're gonna increase the expansion because we want rounded edges and the like more expansion you do the more rounded it's gonna be but like it's a little too rounded for me so i'm gonna go a little bit bigger perfect now after you do this we can pre-compose it if we want but after that we're gonna add the like rings or whatever we need to make a shape layer so layer new shape layer make sure fill is off if it's on just click the word fill turn it off and then we're gonna make a circle hold shift to make it a perfect circle then we're gonna center it in our composition just right click it and then transform center anchor point and layer content first of all i'm going to increase the stroke to about 80 duplicate this and then i'm going to scale this up and then i'm going to change the stroke to like 30. i'm going to do 20 just because period and then we're going to duplicate this like bigger one again scale this up but as you can see it's like going off the screen but if you zoom out you can like see like where the circle would be we're going to fix that in a second and then i'll do the big one one more time and scale this one up Period. after we do this we're going to go back to fit and then we're going to add a new no layer and then we're going to make all of these 3d but before we scale it out we have to connect all these to the no layer so hold shift click the bottom one click the top one and then connect it and then once you scale it out it should look like this Ooh, so trippy after this what we're gonna do is start importing our images that we're using for this so first we got the air jordans and then we got the beats then we got the lego piece then we got the spotify logo this air jordan picture needs to be cleaned up so we're gonna put luma key on it to remove the black background and then we're gonna turn up the threshold and it should remove the black then we're going to position it where we want but for this one when we make it 3d we're gonna position this upwards because we're adding depth to this and then of course you can change the rotation and yeah that looks about good then we're going to import our beats and we're going to put our beats over on this side and we're going to scale this up you're going to press r rotate it change the position a little bit make sure it's 3d and then you can change the positioning now we're going to put our spider man on there and then we're going to put this one right on this side make it 3d and rotate it just a little bit and then we're going to import our spotify logo and with this one we're going to make a circular mask so ellipse tool and since this mask is a little too big we're going to use expand and shrink it just a little bit we are going to put it on this side and make it 3d and then we can reposition this however we need to and then i'm going to add some s underscore tint on this spotify logo i want it to be red and yellow so i'm going to change this to red and then it should look like that and now once our little pngs are set up what we can do is add them to the no layer boom just like that and then if we scale it in and out it should be linked but instead of messing with the scale we're going to mess with position because that's what gives it that true depth i'm actually going to add some like text to this because it's a little too bland so i'm going to put my editing name just so you guys can't steal this and i'm actually going to change the position of the no layer so then i can get closer to everything and then what i'm going to do is move this text below the null real quick i'm going to make it 3d and then i'm going to scale this up but i have to also move the positioning because as you can see it hid under these other layers 
until it appears come on layer let's go oh it was really back there but then i'm going to scale this down it's going to be on that side and then i'm going to add a new solid and this color is going to be this like blue purple color i'm going to do the rectangle tool and then i'm going to put this underneath the text and then i'm going to position this upwards and i kind of like it like this looking so i'm going to keep it like that and then what i'm going to do is chop this off and then i'm going to have it like kind of reveal itself so i'm going to search for linear wipe i'm going to change the transition completion from 100 to zero so it's going to go from 100 so press the stopwatch press you on your keyboard to show up all your keyframes I'm gonna move this out and then I'm gonna change this to zero and then it should like wipe on there perfect and then if you want you can like move these however you want but I'm gonna easy ease these and then it should look something like this oh this is so fast hold up I'm gonna put this further down period and then what I'm gonna do is add like something right here just to fill in the space I'm probably gonna add like a star so I'm gonna press layer new solid and then i'm gonna do this color orange i'm just like matching the colors that's in the video and then i'm going to move it right here and then i'm going to chop this off and i want it to rotate so i'm going to press r click the stopwatch go forward a few frames and then before i rotate it i need to change the anchor point i'm going to right click it press transform and center anchor point and layer content and then i can rotate it however i need to I'm just gonna space out these keyframes and then I can also like add a star over here if I like duplicate it or whatever but I'm gonna put it like underneath this layer I'm gonna change the scale and then I'm going to rotate it and you know it's all about like messing around with the shapes and stuff so it's really up to you whatever you need to do whatever yeah now once you like add all your elements before we position it actually we need to connect this this in this and this to the null so everything that you just added make sure it's connected to the null and make sure it's 3d and then you may have to change the position again i know it's really 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 annoying but yes but just like that we fixed it kind of like it like this now i'm going to use position to scale this out and i'm just going to move this back and everything should still be like linked together and then we just like want to reveal everything and then it should look something like this highlight all these easy ease these move this keyframe forward and then we're just gonna do a quick little speed graph or whatever graph we want to use but i'm doing speed and i'm going to do a graph like that perfect and then we can add motion blur to all these layers because motion blur is the best i just like adding it because you know you know me i also forgot to mention if you want these like little elements to move around and to rotate you can also rotate those but whatever patience you have you know just do it this will just add movement to your edits because nobody wants a stiff edit okay you can also add a text effect to this text i i totally forgot about that but add an adjustment layer and then we can add some bcc lens blur if you don't there's tons of blurs on after effects so or you can use mini max i'm gonna use bcc lens blur and then it's gonna go from 15 to zero yeah and then we're gonna add brightness and then it's gonna go from 100 to zero and then we get something like this okay so we're done with the first part of the transition it was kind of long not gonna lie but now we can move on to the second part we're gonna import our magazine letters all the assets are linked in the description we're gonna import them so we're gonna find the letters that we want to use but i'm going to crop this out basically i'm spelling out miles so i am going to use the m on this picture right here so we're gonna do and then we're gonna put this on the side and then we're gonna do this image and we're gonna get the eye from here you may have to import the picture again to like get all the letters but then we're gonna search for Now, once you have all your letters, what we're going to do is put them kind of like together. So it's going to be M, L, E, S. And then what we're going to do is move them all over. So I need to cut these real quick. And then we're going to move all these over. So we're going to click the first one, hold shift, press P, and then position this over some. Ooh, should we put it on top of his head? Yes. 
Before we pre-compose these, what we need to do is center these in layer content. So just transform, center, anchor point, and layer content. And then after this, what we're gonna do is add some turbulent displace. And this is gonna give us like that paper type overlay, like paper feel. And then we're gonna go under evolution and random seed. And then we're gonna hold all or option. And then we're gonna click random seed. And then we're gonna put time, this symbol, and then nine. And then we can copy this turbulent displace and paste this on all the other letters. And then so they don't like move the same way, we can change each like offset balance, offset turbulence or whatever. And this should change the way they move. And then, yeah, and then they should be more random. Yeah, that's better. After this, what we're gonna do is add some more text and we're gonna put edited and then I'm going to chop off this excess stuff. And then I'm going to scale this up and then I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna do sin there and then this can be like lowercase. I'm going to add like a page turn effect on the text. So first I need to pre-compose this and then I'm gonna search for page turn. Now to do the page turn, as you can see, this is not moving at all. So we have to change the controls thing to classic UI and then it should be fixed. And once we move the like position folds, it should move. Make a keyframe from this and then scroll to the end and then we're gonna just put it to the normal spot and then easy ease these. And then what I wanna do is add a spotlight on him basically, duplicate the video, and then I'm going to make a mask using the ellipse tool. Then I'm gonna do this, hold shift, and then what I'm gonna do is move the circle like on him more. And then I'm gonna change the opacity of the bottom layer and it's gonna go from 100 to zero. So stopwatch, move this in front and then change it to a lower opacity. And then I'm gonna feather out the mask, but we're gonna go under this mask and change the feather, increase it. And if you need to expand it, do that as well. And then it should look something like this, period. And then we can also add a gradient to this edited text. So I'm gonna search for gradient, and then I'm gonna change these colors. I like the blue, and boom. What we can do to these letters is add some depth. So I'm going to add some like, 3d stuff to this so here are all my letters and then we can make these 3d and then after that we're going to make our video 3d as well and then i'm also going to keyframe the positioning of the 3d so and like they're still going to have depth but it's just moving backwards and then i'm going to do the same thing for these layers and then i'm going to make a little graph we can actually have it come from behind too so we're going to do that and then move this over here and then last two do that as well and then they should move in like this but now it's time to like transition these two right here so what i'm going to do is add a new null layer so null i'm going to change the color of this to orange and then i'm going to put this on top of this and it should like overlap these two now we're going to do position and scale and then we're going to press u and then we're going to go forward a few frames and what we're going to do is position this to like go over the shoe if that makes sense so we may have to use position to like go forward again and then if you want you can use scale i did that keyframe just in case we have to use it and then it should like transition but if you like try to play it back you can't even see like the shoe in the second clip so we have to expand the shoe more like this and then we have to reposition it to go on top of the other clip and you just have to keep moving it i'm actually going to put these jordans on top of all these other clips real quick so just put the jordans on top of the other clips but then we're going to go back to the snow we're going to complete this transition so move this keyframe over and then once you play it back you should be like trying to move it to the other side it's going to be black right now but we're going to fix that in a second but we're going to position it like that and then we're going to do a keyframe and then we're going to do a graph like this and then we're going to make a new null layer and then we're going to link all these to the null i know my bad guys but then we can like control everything in this layer really quick i forgot to make this 3d so just like link all these to this null and then link this null to the second null and then if we position this out like the null itself it should be normal once you play this back it should be fixed and then this black part is sticking out so i'm gonna scale this last photo up just a little bit and then i'm going to turn on a motion blur of course because you know 
you already know the deal. Okay, so I'm gonna easy ease this scale graph because it looked a little stiff. So I'm just gonna do like an end graph, but not too like tight, too harsh, very subtle, period. And then once you play this back, it should look something like. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Assets are linked below. Stay safe. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.